you to Ceratomus International of Truckee Donner for your continued support of women in science. The demand for STEM careers is growing at a rapid pace. The space industry is exploding, new medicines are being created, and novel solutions to environmental issues are expanding. While we have seen a growing need for scientists, women make up only about 27% of the workforce. Studies show that women outperform men in an undergraduate setting. However, this performance is not leading to professionals working in the field. In this presentation, we will explore ways to overcome this hurdle and bring more women into the STEM workforce. I'll never forget seeing Jane Goodall. She gave messages of hope, but also shared her stories of growing up as the weird kid. She discussed exploring the world around her and how she kept earthworms in her bed as a child. As a woman in science, I felt like she was speaking to me directly. She brought a visualization of her history and made me crave more. I have worked in the field of education for over 14 years. While teaching is primarily considered a career for women, the science department where I worked was disproportional to the rest of the departments. When moving to a new career, I was tasked with interviewing scientists about their work and career backgrounds. While exploring university databases, it became clear that women are the minority. It was difficult to find women as leaders in their field. They were labeled as lab techs or assistants, but rarely a lead for department or industry. That got me thinking of my own pathway to science. So let me tell you a story about a little girl growing up on the east coast of Florida. I was born and raised in the beaches of Central Florida. Having an engineer father and surfing the waves, I naturally gained interest in the field of marine biology. I watched the Indian River Lagoon's health decline and trash pile up on our once pristine beaches. I was out surfing one day when I came across two large sharks. I grew up in the heydays of Shark Week, massive sharks jumping out of the water and shark attack files. My heart raced as I floated with my arms and legs on my board as these creatures cruised right past me. I knew then that these large apex predators were simply sensationalized and misunderstood. I decided then and there that I wanted to work in the field of marine biology. The problem? Women were not considered leaders in science. In the world of Robert Ballard and Jacques Cousteau, I found Sylvia Earle and Jeannie Clark, the two leaders in marine sciences, to be a safe haven. There were only two that I could see myself in. I investigated many universities and degree options and became very discouraged. This was not the field for me, as I was the minority gender. I was outnumbered, and opportunities seemed grim, and I had no mentor. I persevered and found a place for myself in the shark world. I became a teacher and used my voice to educate other women on their potential in STEM careers. In this situation, we heard a story of, a, of one girl that overcame diversity, found her niche in the world. Hey, here's another story for you. So growing up, we, we saw a lot of men in the biology field um, studying sharks and sea turtles. and as a woman who wanted to get into the field, it just kind of empowered me more. Like we needed more representation of women in this field. Um, so as you can see, the issue has been around for decades. Fortunately, there are organizations that are making waves of change. I now work for a female-led science research organization that prioritizes women in STEM careers. We are taking charge, telling our stories, building trust, and enabling the future women in STEM to be inspired to join us in this movement. There is hope if you know where to look. Be part of the movement and join us on May 4th for Big Day of Giving. We have a very special presentation featuring Dr. Laura Larson from UC Berkeley, a leader in her field. We hope to see you on May 4th to help us inspire future women leaders in STEM. We can't do this without you and we appreciate your support. Thank you.